What if I told you there was a way to quadruple your sales in digital marketing without increasing your paid search? In this video, we'll show you how. The one question I get from my clients all the time is why do we need branding? Whether it's from the marketing department or the C-suite, why do we need to spend this dollar on building awareness and preference when we can use digital tools to just get found when people search a term, for example, in the vacuum industry? People search the term vacuum. Why can't we just make our vacuum cleaner the top search result? and people will choose our vacuum. Let's start with the data. In the vacuum cleaner industry, the number one search term is Dyson. So the best strategy and the highest return on investment that we've studied is that you buy the term Dyson to get your vacuum cleaner at the top of the search results. Let's say, for example, you name your company SuperVac, and the user types in Dyson, and we've conquested that term, and we are now number one. The result is SuperVac. What's the likelihood that customer is gonna click? on the SuperVac ad result when they've typed in Dyson. Well, it's about a 1x factor. Let's give it a, you know, that's our baseline. If you were actually Dyson, it's a 5x factor, if not a 10x factor, that that customer is going to click on that term. That just makes common sense, right? So if you have a 5x factor or a 10x factor on your search terms because you're not the brand being searched, that means you have to spend five times more, if not 10 times more in your search terms to get the result you want without a brand. This is why we've done studies. We've done market studies with brands like pizza, vacuum cleaners, healthcare, banking, the automotive industry. What we found is that in the markets where people invested in building a brand, their products had a 5X factor in sales. That's because the digital activation increases by five times. Because you have a TV commercial, people are more likely to click on your search ad. Because you have a social video, people are more likely, five times more likely, to click on that ad than if it was an offer in a still image. When you're building awareness, when you're building preference around emotional engagements, there's a, a minimum 2X factor, and we've seen 5X factor among the clients that we currently serve. Let me take a minute to visualize the power of a 2X to 5X brand. Let's take, for example, you're doing a search for a soft drink, and you get a series of results. One might say, our soft drink tastes better, has less calories, it won in taste test competitions. Uh, the other might say it's more calories. It has uh, higher content of uh, carcinogens. It is a higher cost product. Well, obviously you're gonna pick the one that is, it has those features and benefits you like. However, if one of those brands was Fresh Cola and the other brand was Coca-Cola, which brand are you going to choose now? This is where the 2X to 5X factor comes in. When the brand is recognized, when the brand has a history, when the brand has an emotional connection to something we've experienced in our lifetime through advertising and culture, we are two to five times more likely to click Coca-Cola than we are fresh cola. The ugly unspoken truth is that Google inventory is now limited. Bing inventory is limited. Uh, you are only going to capture so many customers because your competitors are buying keywords as well. Uh, there's only so much access, only a percentage of that search is yours to have. However, it's unlimited when you're building a brand because people are searching your keyword and they're clicking organic results. I want your brand. I don't want any brand, I want your brand as a consumer. Now when that happens, your cost goes down because organic lift can work in your favor. People are searching for a term, they don't need an advertisement from a competitor. They want you. It's the art of being sought after, not the art of being randomly found. What's important is that you have an agency that thinks in terms of the whole solution, return on advertising spend, rather than performance marketing versus branding because it's the mix, it's not an either or. It's a combination of these two things. If all I had was a hammer, everything would look like a nail. So we need the tool set in front of us and we need a unbiased attention to the right tools at the right time. 
as an advertising agency for our clients, we recommend top funnel branding to supplement that bottom funnel result. And we expect that there's going to be a, a balance in that, where at first you're spending more on the top funnel toward that brand, and then later more on the bottom funnel, capturing the value of that brand in your search, in your social, in your activation media. If you are looking to build your brand, we put together a list of things you should consider as you're choosing an agency or a solution for building awareness and preference. As a resource, click on the link below for the Daniel Bryan blog. This is Daniel Bryan. Now do something to disrupt.